la 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 You're breaking me la 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 You're breaking me la 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 I'll be singing la 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 You're breaking me la 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 You're breaking me la 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 You're breaking me la 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 Hey, what is up guys? It's Cyrix Leon here. How are you doing guys? Hope you doing well. Today I'm going to teach you how to play with Heldrin Prime like a professional. So let's talk a little bit about Heldrin Prime. Her first ability is useless to me. I change it with Elemental Ward and I use electricity to boost my shield capacity. It will be helpful to me. You can choose Gloom if you are lazy, it will work, but I prefer Elemental Ward. Let's talk about second ability, it, it's the most important skill because it recharges your shields really so fast. So you can spam it till your shields reach two crazy numbers, will make you sober tank, but still need some tips to stay alive, cause you may run out of shields. Third ability will create an aura between you and the enemies or your friends. It can damage them and it recharge your shields too. Last one will be cool for your friends because it will give them a lot of energy. Hail to Prime passive is really cool because it gives you more survivability if your shields get shot and raised down to the zero. Well, get 3 seconds of invulnerability, you can boost it to 6 seconds by using Rolling God. This makes you unable to die. So, yep, this build is work on all factions and in all missions at the same time, with a team and without a team. So, I didn't remove the last ability, cause helping my team would be cool. Let's head to the Heldrum Prime build. In the aura, I will use Corrosive Projection and Prime True Footed to resist the knockdown, you can swap it with Hand Spring, Rolling Guard to add more survivability, Prime Continuity to balance the duration, if you didn't have it use normal one, Rolling Guard you must have it, Blazing Pillage you must have it, Arcane Barrier or Arcane Aegis, but if you didn't have any of them, get Arcane Barrier because it's cheaper than items. Molt augmented its preferred, but if you didn't have it, you can use Arcane Avenger. The rest of build will be normal for anyone. Let's hit to the network and Quarrel and Epatos build. Well, nothing new in their builds. The same builds for new players without ribbon, you can check it in the last of the video. So, how do you deal crazy damage with this setup? Use Epatos to give the enemies a lot of status. Use your Heldrin second mobility, shoot them with your qualifier or not. Staying alive is so simple like I said in the first video. If your shields get a hit, use Rolling Guard, plus her passive you will get like a 6 second to recharge your shields. If your shields go to the zero again, just go to your operator and dash anywhere that enemies can shoot you and wait till Heldrin recharge her shields.